Welcome to B&H Videos. Hi, this is Evie from B&H. It's a beautiful early spring day here. And we're in Hamilton Park in New Jersey, right across the river from New York from our B&H Superstore. With us today is Brian from thedigitalpicture.com. And thedigitalpicture.com is a website that reviews DSLR gear, cameras, lenses, and accessories. And we've uh, brought Brian along to review the and take a look at the 1200 millimeter 5.6 L lens from Canon, a very rare lens from Canon. This lens uh, is from the B&H used camera department. Now everyone knows B&H has great new gear, but our used camera department is quite busy and uh, we buy and sell all, all sorts of uh, photo gear, lenses, cameras, uh, and uh, you never know what's going to show up. And here we've got the 1200 5.6L, as I said, it is a legendary optic. It was built uh, uh, for special order purposes only uh, for mostly wildlife and sports photographers. Um, and uh, Brian, you were telling me before about the origin of this optic. This lens was first introduced in an FD mount in 1984. It was first seen at the LA Olympics. And since then, it has been upgraded. The design has been upgraded to the EF mount, um, complete with autofocus. And those original FD lenses were also taken back to the factory and remade into what is now an EF L lens. It's in great condition. Take a look at that. It's a beauty. It's beauty. Typical Canon Super Telephoto L lens build. It is very solid. The weight goes along with that solid build. Yeah, this is a heavy lens. It's, 30, kind of, it's 36 pounds, 36 so you've pounds. got to have a tripod for it. 33 inches long, and um, the minimum focusing distance is 46 feet. So you've got to be pretty far away from your subject to use it. It's not a backyard lens. No, it's not at all. Why don't you take a look through it and take some pictures? I'd love to. <laughs> Distant subjects are tightly framed. What sort of detail can you see from across the river? I can read the signs on the windows of those shops over there. Wow. Can you see people? I can. We were looking at how you do a vertical shot. Would you like shot. to try it? Yeah, let me try that. Okay. Wow, locks on right away. No problem. And we can go to a vertical very simply like turning the camera and relocking. That's a pleasure. Now you can bump up the power even more by using teleconverters. The Canon 1.4 and 2.0 APO converters work uh, on this lens. Uh, with the 2.0, you'll get a 2400 millimeter F11, but you will lose autofocus, uh, but it correct. will still operate. So you can get a lot of power out of this if you really 2, want to. 2400 millimeters. <laughs> An amazing amount of focal length. Yeah, as it is, as is, it's a, uh, it's a handful. It is. Here comes a helicopter. <laughs> Got it. We did. Wow, unbelievable. How about that? Uh, the big ferry coming our way in the water. That's a nice uh, subject. Great subject and. How far away is that? It practically fills the frame. Unbelievable. That must be a mile away. Now it's a big lens. It, it, um, to transport it, you really need a good case. And this one comes with its original um, trunk case. If you pay this much for your lens, you don't want it damaged. Yes, this one comes with the case, everybody. <laughs> hey, Brian, take a look at this. Here's the old uh, gelatin filter holder. Uh, in, the, in those days, it was the only way to really use a filter right. with this thing. The front right. was too large for it. Of course, today, with digital, we can do just about everything in post, so you don't have much use for that now. Circular polarizer. Circular is the polarizer. One option. This is the one thing you can Of course, you lose two stops, up to two stops with that, and but it gives you a slow lens. Yeah, but with digital today, with a Canon That's SLR, right. no problem. Take up your Crank ISO, up ISO and, you're, and you're right back in the action. There. No problem. Well, Brian. A rare and unusual encounter with a, an exotic lens like this, the 1200 5.6L. What'd you think? I think it's a great lens. This was a fun afternoon. Um, I feel great to have had the opportunity to use this lens. I've heard about it many times, but now I've done it. <laughs> That's right. And it's available for sale in the used camera department from B&H. Uh, so you can stop by the store, speak to our salespeople, visit us online. 
call us up. Uh, we'll be happy to talk to you about it. And uh, we also, b &H also buys gear. So if you have uh, gear that you want to sell, lenses, cameras, whatever, uh, feel free to contact B&H and uh, they'll be happy to speak with you about it. Um, also, don't forget to visit uh, Brian's website, thedigitalpicture.com, for some great reviews. And uh, Brian, I'll leave you with the lens for a little more testing. Thank you. You're welcome.